social studies teacher for many years before becoming an administrator. And um, he told the students at the start of every year, those who don't understand history will be condemned to repeat it. So for a second, let's look back from where we've come. Over the past decade, the town has faced a series of financial challenges that were best expressed by our auditors and bond rating agencies. They said that Hamden's fiscal position was deteriorating. Decades of underinvestment and poor maintenance forced the town to tackle many projects at once, so we had an unusually large number of projects on the books that needed to be finished. They cited poor liquidity in our general fund, they noted a turnover in our finance department, and most importantly, they noted the large and growing larger deficits in our pension and our medical self-insurance funds. It was noted that from 1998 to 2003, the town had only funded about 3% of our obligated contribution. And of course, the day before we took office, the state mandated that still painful property revaluation took effect. I still remember my first uh, day in office. I got in around 8 o'clock, and within the first two hours, I received a large number of calls about the revaluation. A person calling to tell me that the sidewalk in front of his house had been damaged for 12 years and the town hadn't fixed it yet. A woman whose street had been paved since 1968 when she moved to Hamden. And a gentleman whose property flooded every time it rained. He'd been waiting 30 years for a storm drain to be put in. And suddenly, practicing law didn't seem that bad. <laughs> but look where we've come. Our fund balance is stable and healthy now. We have the same finance team in place for almost two years. Last year's budget was balanced, and our current one will produce a slight surplus. For the first time in eight years, our medical self-insurance line will show a surplus for the year instead of a deficit. And just as important, we've repaired miles of sidewalks, paved dozens of roads, and tackled the issue that may not resonate beyond a single house or a single block, but have a dramatic impact on the social fabric that is handled. The Lewis Astorino Rink is now officially complete. This renovation had languished twice as long as it took Michelangelo to paint the ceiling of the existing chapel. <laughs> but I'm proud to say that we restarted this overdue project, we finished without requiring any, any additional funds, and the project, and with the project complete, the rink is now open year-round and earning money for the town. And of course, the Hamden Middle School. I'm pleased that the school opened in time for this school year without requiring any additional money, and we were even able to get a change order to shut off the lights. A little detail overlooked by the fellow previously chairing the school building committee. And special credit for this achievement goes to Councilman Kurt Lang, who took over the chairmanship of the school building committee and got this project finished. He got the leaks fixed and the light switch installed. Thank you.